It's my best friend. I'm sad, but I'm happy that she was able to share her gift here in the city. Two Kansas City legends lost in one week. The community honoring the lives of Ronnie McFadden and Ida McBeth. On this Friday night, with people out enjoying our Jazz District, KSHB 41 News reporter Megan Abundas shares their impact on music and on Kansas City. A woman who was born to sing. The way in which she used her voice. A man who lived out every part of the word entertainer. Kansas City lost. Music legends, you know, we were literally just wrapping our minds around the fact that Ronnie passed and then we woke up the next day and it was like, y'all, Ida's gone too. And it's like, ah. The music community feels the loss of these performers who had so much success. Lonnie McFadden. Ba, da, 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 then drop it to boom. Kansas City remembers what the sound of a good time was like with his brother Ronald. We did everything together. We took piano lessons at five and six years old, did our first piano recital. Uh, our father taught us both how to tap dance. He says Ronnie tap danced like a jazz musician. He just rolled with it and excelled in everything. He was the choreographer. He sang, he played flute, he played alto saxophone. I I lost my best friend. Kansas City, Kansas City, here I come. It was a very big deal. Charles Williams. So that was one of the last times I saw her. Was Ida Macbeth's pianist. She loved to sing, she loved to perform, and I would watch her expression. She would throw her head back. And didn't have any trouble filling a room. She packed it out. I'm sad, but I'm happy that she was able to share her gift here in the city. A gift that was passed when on. You put your arms around me, I get a fever that's so hard to bear. There's a reason why your hair stands up on your arm. Lee Langston honors the influence these two had in his career. Never forget to call those that laid the path before you. A lot of us are having conversations about what it meant, what they meant, what their, their instruments or their gifts or the various things that they brought. Megan Abundis, KSHB 41 News.